This world is for the fire signs. I apologize for the lateness of this. It's the end of the semester. I got a lot of shit going on, but I can't forget about y'all. I forgot about the earth signs last week. So I'm just fucking up all, all around. If you're new here, check the link in the description for personal readings or anything you want to learn about me. Don't mind my stuffiness. Not COVID. So miss me with that shit. And uh, I can't hear out of my right ear. Oh, that's fun. Let's see what we got going on for all the fire signs. I really can't fucking hear out of my left, my right ear. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, okay, bro. There y'all are. The fucking Queen of Wands in reverse. That's you guys. All the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, normally I see that as Sag energy, but it's it's y'all. Uh, there's a rebuilding happening with this card, a rebuilding of confidence. Like really it it feels, I mean, I know there's one card out and the whole reading could fucking shift with the next card out, but it feels like you guys are trying to really rebuild yourselves, your, your self-confidence and your self-worth might not be a time of like taking action at this, at this point in, in your, in your week, I guess, because anything can fucking happen and change the shit. But uh, right now, it's like almost needing to prove shit to yourself. That is the vibe that I get. I feel like I'm in a. F- Let me stop complaining. If y'all could only see the amount of tarot decks that I've amassed over the last year that I've been reading. All right. Let me focus. Okay. <laughs> judgment in reverse this is either you guys feeling as if where the fuck how come it's not focusing you guys either feeling as if you haven't made the right calls right uh i think there could be a potential that the story starting to unfold where like the level up is unavoidable but you're missing it at this point, maybe because you're spending too much time on yourself, if that makes sense. Not that you're being selfish because like build yourself up, boo-boo, we want that. But it's this like spending, (sighs) missing the forest for the trees, right? Like the universe is trying to show you shit, like trying to guide you in the right direction. And you just, it feels like you might, consistently be taking the wrong direction or at the at the very least missing the fucking exit okay eight of cups in reverse something you're having trouble walking away from uh something that yeah like i said there's no action really happening right now with the four of swords in reverse this is a card of rep Hi, it's a card of sleep, rest, relaxation, not really trying to think too much about shit, right? Taking a pause on things. Uh, I don't know if, again, I don't know if there are some of y'all out there trying to like really like not trying to go with where you're supposed to go, right? Because the judgment is all about level ups and shit like that, but it's when the universe kind of gives you, calls you to action and calls you to make a decision on something like and choose a path and it feels like either you're consistently just not choosing a path especially with that four of swords it's like you're consistently not choosing something or you're consistently missing the message <laughs> the call it keeps going a fucking voicemail for you guys uh but the kicker is you're not going to fully either walk away from this could sometimes be a return of something like something wrapping back around and coming back into your energy for the fire signs that I'm speaking to, or it could, it could just genuinely genuinely mean you having trouble 
walking away from certain things. And maybe there are things that you're needing to really just leave fucking behind. Let the, let the, the cards rest where they're going to rest so you can push forward and like, and, and that could be anything, right? I mean, it's, it's emotional with cups. Cups are all about emotions and uh, intuition and shit like that. Right. But with, with these three, with three cups, I don't know why I wanted to say these three cups, but with these three cards, this card right here, this, this uh, eight of cups is a card that speaks about things that emotionally are burdensome, right? The cups are empty. They're not spilled, but they're empty. So it's like, it's that feeling of like, I've learned everything that I need to learn in this chapter of life. And now I need to move on to the next chapter, but you're not. You're not moving on to the next chapter because you're not learning the lesson. It feels like for the fire signs that I'm speaking to. Again, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, that's the vibe I'm getting. I'm getting text messages right now. But that that is the vibe I'm getting. Is like, you can't take, you, either you can't take action or you're not taking action. Uh, you might need to like process some shit too. With that four of swords, you might need to relax and take a fucking chill pill. Like it might be the chill pill that you need to maybe get the answers that you need to finally take action and push forward. By the way, I love this deck. I love this fucking deck. I really do. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about this deck. They got like black borders. Okay. For the love of fucking Pete. Okay, so the Lord have mercy. There's confusion here. This, this is not, again, it's like there's a choice you're needing to make with the judgment here and the two of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. It's like there's some sort of choice that's needing to be made. You're not making it because you're confused. You don't know how to make this decision. You don't know how to approach it. You don't know what the fuck to do. The queen of cups is now out in reverse. Underneath your energy, which is the queen of wands, this could be a water sign that you're dealing with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, again, it's like it, if it's your energy, it's like you're not wanting to face emotions or really bottling emotions. Uh, the queen of wands in reverse can be very like angry too. She's fiery. There's really no bet like, I'm not, I'm not biased, but I do have an affinity for fucking fire signs. Y'all are literally fire, right? Uh, there's really no bad to her. She's passionate, but when she's in reverse, she can burn. She can burn you. So I don't know if it's shit that you're angry about. I'm not getting that vibe, but maybe there are some. I mean, I'm obviously saying it for a fucking reason, right? So maybe there are some of y'all out there watching this that are like, yeah, I'm pissed off by this. I can't fucking move forward from this because it like bothers me, right? But <sighs> this queen of cups could be somebody that you're dealing with in your immediate energy, right? Uh, in reverse, again, the queen of cups is emotionally withdrawn at times uh could be moody could be jealous energy like it's that sort of like all up in her emotions but then it's funny because i'm telling you there's a lot of emotions here cups are all about emotions you got three cups out and two eights but we'll get to that but you got the king of cups upright so it's like the right thing to do for you, which is maybe not what you're not what you're doing, right? Maybe that's why the judgment's coming out in reverse. Is like be diplomatic with your emotions. Don't let your emotions get the best of you in in a situation. Uh, 
figure out how you feel, understand how you feel so you can express it to whoever you need to express it to in the most diplomatic way possible. Again, this eight of cups could be like a returning of something, of someone, whatever it is. The eight of pentacles comes out in reverse, which again is indicative of working on yourself, like inner work, but it also could be indicative of, I don't want to put in the work. So um, again, there's no movement. There's no like, I'm not putting in the effort type of thing. I don't know if it's you or the other person. There are, are potentially three people here, two potential water signs. But you could also, I'm also reading it as you, the queen of wands, most of my viewers are women, so that makes sense. You coming out as the queen of wands and, and, and part of your energy is this queen of cups. So either you're jealous about something, you're pissed off about something or someone, or you're just emotionally withdrawn. And the connecting energy is this, which is, it's like deep emotions. I think, I think, I think I'm hearing like the thought popped into my head, wanting me to tell you to dig deep because the king of cups is very deep emotion. Like you don't have a king of, of cups with somebody like the king of cups doesn't come out when you're just meeting somebody or you're just like, whether friend or fucking more than a friend, you know, the King of Cups does not come out for the person that you met down the block seven days ago, or like even six weeks ago. The King of Cups is deep, deep emotion and love and like, handles his emotions or her emotions in a way that is like graceful people look at the king of cups and think wow i want to be as emotionally intelligent and mature as that person i don't know if that's you or the person you're dealing with there's definitely somebody else that you're dealing with though somebody else is showing up in this reading I just don't know what the fuck it means. I wish I could. I wish I could breathe out of my right nostril. I sound like the mouth breather from fucking Hey Arnold. I fucking can't stand it, bro. I'm telling you right. I'm telling y'all right now. The Knight of Cups is out, and it comes out over your energy, which is like you extending some sort of emotional not olive branch but like you extending some sort of emotional gesture to somebody else doesn't have to be romantic knight of cups can be a romantic energy though can come up as like a romantic energy so that maybe you have romantic feelings for somebody maybe you're expressing those feelings but there's all with when knights are bringers of of, of shit right the Knight of Cups is the bringer of emotions. So it's like saying you're the bringer of emotions in this situation. But it doesn't feel as though that is happening just yet, if that makes sense. The Knight of Cups isn't as fast a mover as let's say the knight of swords like the knight of swords is like in days you're doing this you're having this conversation right quick the knight of cups is like I'm, i've processed what i need to process i know how i feel and now i bring you this cup like this this apology this conversation this expression of my uh admiration for you let's say right but something funny about the knight of cups which makes sense because y'all are water signs is sometimes the knight of cups 
can be a little fickle. So I don't know if y'all are feeling a little fickle. There's a lot. I'm telling you right now, the emotions in this reading. Like if you're not watching this emotionally attached to some sort of situation or person or whatever at this moment in time, and you're like, this makes no sense. This is not your reading because there are a lot of emotions here. Like I said, you're dealing with another human. And y'all know I don't fucking say that unless it's blatantly obvious. In this reading, it is blatantly obvious. I genuinely hope no other people come out. I'm telling you right now, another three of cups. This can be about reconciliation, which makes sense for that eight of cups in reverse, which is like a returning, somebody returning to somebody else or returning back to this thing. It's like... The eight of cups upright is normally about leaving, right? Leaving the past behind, leaving the cups behind. This is like either returning to all the emotions or an inability to leave. It feels like a return though. I'm telling you right now, this three of cups is also about celebrations, friendships, it's like establishing this emotional uh, support system, right? Again, there's a lot of emotion here. A hell of a lot. Can I just hear out of my right ear? I just really want to. Like, I really, I really, I would appreciate being able to hear out of my right ear. And being able to speak. Wow, the Ace of Wands. It's that spark of something new. Like I said, it's this. It's 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 either it's either returning to a. Uh, it feels like a return to an old flame or like a return to a spark. It doesn't have to be a romance, romance thing, though. There's a lot of emotion here, and the Ace of Wands can indicate an attraction or a spark, or like a passionate, like passion, like, like, like the seed of passion, you know? <sighs> I'm telling you right now, three of pentacles is like, let's work on things. Let's, let's, let's be a team. Again, there's some sort of like support system or collaboration or teamwork or effort that needs to be made in order to have this play out the way that it looks like it's going to fucking play out, essentially. Y'all might need to just take a time out to kind of figure your shit out because it does seem like y'all are coming up as uh, the closed off angry ones in this situation, which makes sense. Y'all are fucking water signs, but there is somebody open to expressing emotion a lot of fucking water a lot of cups cancer pisces scorpio you literally have three water court signs court cards the knight of cups the king of cups and the queen of cups there's a lot you're dealing with another person there's a lot of emotion here a lot of like a lot essentially a lot of love and admiration for whoever this person is and vice versa person has it for you too i really love these cards these cards i gotta say i've been doing like personal readings for people these i did i think i did like three the other day they've been spot on like i've gotten really good reviews with this deck i don't know i just feel very connected to it been sleeping with it there it is there's the knight of wands in reverse i don't know where this was going right here of course it's over your energy so it's like again in action right it could be impulsive energy too, but or chaotic energy. Like y'all are kind of living in your own chaos right now. But 
It's in action. Just pull it from the top. This is about... Could be the other person unable to sleep in their head about things, worrying about what the fuck is going to happen in this situation. Emperor in reverse. I don't like the emperor in reverse. That's controlling energy. I don't know if you have. What's this emperor in reverse? Oh, okay. <laughs> that, remember how I said that there, there are a lot of fucking court cards here, I'm telling you right now, but uh, this is some sort of stable, like, offer being made, right? Uh, a consistent, like, slow, thought out offer. And then at the end of it all is this, which is, again, more celebrations, more possibly a party or some sort of get together, especially with this three of cups. It's like social events and stuff like that. If it's not that, it's, uh, it's just, again, it's, 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 look at, look at it. It's a union of two of two people. They're getting married. It's a stable again, more stability, like stability in this situation. Yeah, it's like surrendering to some sort of offer that's being made and actually. I don't know. Uniting. Uniting. I can't say my ends. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right. I'm done with y'all. Like genuinely done. Three from the top. Soul flame. You could be deal. I hate this. I hate that I'm about to say this right now, but you could be dealing with a twin flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Like I said, there's somebody either coming back around that you're healing a situation with, right? The four of wands is a twin flame card. If you believe in twin flames, I'm still on the fence about it, but this card literally says soul flame. And then it's about experiencing relationship harmony and rediscovering a lost part of yourself. That's, that is a twin flame card for sure. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You're safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Right. There's something, maybe anger or upset that you're needing to let go of for the fire signs that I'm talking to in order to have this play out the way it's going to play out. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So at the at the very least, whatever this is, right? And it definitely has to do with another person. Whatever this is, you can't go wrong with it. Like, I feel like with this judgment in reverse, it's something that is meant to happen, but maybe it's meant to happen in the, in the timing it's meant to happen, right? But you're also meant to open your fucking eyes as well, fire signs. And like, you know, dig deep, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I got for y'all, I don't know if that makes any fucking sense, let me know, are y'all reconciling with people that, with somebody, is somebody, has somebody entered back into your life, has somebody returned, let me know, uh, love y'all very much, and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next reading. Peace out.